What is racemization in organic chemistry? Imagine you have a pair of gloves, one for the left hand and one for the right. In organic chemistry, molecules can be like these gloves where they have a specific handedness or orientation in space. This is known as chirality. Now, let's talk about what happens when these chiral molecules undergo a process called racemization. Racemization is when a chiral molecule, which is optically active, meaning it can rotate light in a specific direction, is converted into a mixture that contains equal amounts of its two possible enantiomers. Enantiomers are like non-superimposable mirror images of each other. For example, if you have a molecule that rotates light to the right, dextrorotatory, its enantiomer would rotate light to the left, levorotatory. One common way racemization occurs is through a type of reaction called the SN1 substitution reaction. Here's how it works. When an alkyl halide, a molecule with a carbon-halogen bond, reacts, the halogen atom breaks off, forming a carbocation intermediate. This carbocation is flat and planar, meaning it has no preferred side for reactions to occur. As a result, when a nucleophile like water approaches this carbocation, it can do so from either the top or the bottom with equal probability. This leads to the formation of a 50-50 mixture of the two enantiomers, which is what we call a racemic mixture. Another example is the hydrogenation of certain alkenes, molecules with carbon-carbon double bonds. When these alkenes are hydrogenated, new chiral centers can form, resulting in a racemic mixture of the enantiomers. Racemization can also be influenced by external factors, such as heat or the presence of certain chemical reagents. For instance, an optically active compound can become a racemic mixture simply by being heated or exposed to specific conditions that allow the enantiomers to interconvert. To summarize, racemization is a process where a single enantiomer of a chiral molecule is converted into an equal mixture of both its enantiomers, resulting in a racemic mixture with zero net optical activity. This process is crucial in understanding many organic chemistry reactions and the properties of chiral compounds.